Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, King of Kings. Thank you, Lord of Lords. Thank you, Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end of all things. The I am that I am, I bow down before you today. I worship you, I magnify you, and I exalt your holy name. This is Morning Cry coming to you from Save the World, a Christian ministry with a divine mandate to set the captives free and give sight to the blind by the power in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. My name is Dr. Baba Tokwe Babalubi. Genesis chapter 31, verse 7. And your father has deceived me and changed my wages ten times, but God suffered him not to hurt me. It's what you sow in this life that you reap. It's not a cause, it's a statement of fact, it's a statement of truth based on the Bible. It's what you sow that you reap. And today God will give me and you the grace to sow good things, to sow favor, to sow goodness, to sow mercy to do good things because goodness and mercy will follow you and follow me now Jacob told lies to his fathers and he ripped lies from his uncle Nabal we all know the story Jacob deceived his father much much later in years when he started to work for Nabal his uncle his employer his employer also deceived him Jacob took the birthright of his brother Esau. He took the birthright, he took the blessing, he deceived me, took the blessings of his brother Esau. Much, much later in life, when he started to work, he was also cheated by his employer, Laban. As you read in this passage, Genesis chapter 31, verse 7, his employer changed his wages, his salary, 10 times. He was underpaid. He was short paid. So in life is what you sow that you end up reaping. It's what you sow that you end up reaping. And today I pray for you that you shall receive the grace to sow goodness, to sow mercy, to sow truth all the days of your life in Jesus' mighty name. Rachel conspired with Jacob to tell Isaac lies. Rachel, the wife of Isaac, the mother of Jacob, they conspire together. Mother and son conspire to tell the father lies in order to receive a blessing that they were not entitled to. Do you know at the end of the day, Rachel did not live to see the glory of Jacob. She died before Jacob returned back from exile. So, Eventually, Rachel also reap what she sowed. When you live a life of dishonesty, dishonesty is also waiting for you in the future. When you reap a life of stealing, rob robbers are also waiting for you in the future. When you live a life of deceit, in that in that of cheating others in order to climb up, you will also be cheated in the future. So as you go out today, decide to stand by the truth, decide to walk by the truth, decide not to tell a lie, decide not to cheat anybody, decide not to do any wickedness. Anything, everything you are doing every day, you are sowing a seed for your future, sow goodness into your future, sow a, a seed of mercy into your future, it is well with you today. Everything you do today and everywhere you go today, you go today you shall stand by the truth, you shall say the truth, you shall do good, you shall not do evil. And as you do that, you are sowing a seed for your future. And that is that is what is going to cause goodness and mercy to follow you. I rebuke every spirit of lying. It's a stranger, it's a demon spirit, and I cast it out in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen.